Hi guys, good morning. In this video, we are going to see the problem symmetric tree. Uh, before starting, if you guys liking the video or if after watching the video you like it, then please do hit the like button. It helps motivate a lot. A lot. So yeah, before further ado, let's start. And uh, the problem says that we are given a root of a binary tree, which means that we are we will like, we will be given a root pointer. And binary tree is just a tree having two nodes, one nodes or no nodes at all. At max, the nodes will be two. Cool. Uh, whether it's a mirror of itself, which means that if I put a mirror on, let's say one half of the tree, so it should be exactly the same as if. If I if I, I would have put like you can see the dotted line here. If I would have put a mirror here, so it should exactly be the same as it would not have been without a mirror. Cool. Uh, and it's symmetric around its center. Cool. Let's see what it actually means. Is that you can easily see this pink two. It should be same as that other two, right? So the value here it should have been two only and it can't have been three four it's because the mirror side of this two is also a two in this example also as you can easily see this green four this green four it also needs to be a four it can't be a five or a three why because if you see that four is here right so the mirror exactly will be here so it should be same both these should be same and three right here, which is in blue, it should exactly be the same as this three. So basically these three should be same. So basically this mirror thing, it should work. Cool. And it will return a true. In this example, two and two, both are same. Cool. No worries at all. But here it is three and here it is null. Nothing. It's not allowed. As I said, both needs to be same at the mirror. Here in the pink, it's three. And here in the pink, it's null. Sorry, it's also not allowed. I said, right, any, if any one of the node violates the problem, so it's not a mirror tree. If all the nodes satisfy this condition of mirror tree, so it's a, it's a mirror tree. Cool. So it's not a mirror tree and we solved it. Answer is false. Now we have to solve it both recursively and iteratively. Constraints are pretty low, so we can just do it in O of N, square of N, but yeah, we'll do it in O of N. That's not a worry, but we will see both the recursive and the iterative ways. Let's start with the recursive way. So firstly, what we think of recursive. Recursive means that I have to think of one part of the problem. Rest, the whole part will be solved by the question itself. So and in recursion or in any problem, firstly, we have a base condition. Okay. What if the root itself is null? So I don't have to worry at all, right? If the root, root is null, which means the tree is just null, empty. So I can just say, okay, if true is null, I can return a true because an empty is also a mirror image of itself, right? It's just that, okay, if a root has one value, still it's a mirror image of itself. But I just have a condition, base condition, okay. What if my root is null? Cool. I'll just, I'll just return a true. Cool. My first thing, base condition satisfied of recursion. Now comes the actual part. Now comes the part where, see, in a recursion, we have the base condition, we have the main condition, and we have the recursion, like recursive part. So base condition satisfied. Main condition is that we saw the left, we were standing at the root, right? So roots left, which is this left node and roots right, which is this right node. These both needs to be equal. Only, only then I can say, okay, that it's a mirror image. So I will start say, okay, both these needs to be equal. Cool. Okay. I have worked on my main part now let's see how will the recursive part work so if we go down further then root it's a left node it's a right node right so green one right here it's a left nodes left and red one four it's a left nodes right it's a right nodes left and this green three it's a right nodes right and what we need to see is that on further going forward this which means left nodes left, let's see here. Left nodes left should be equal to right nodes right. And also left nodes right should be equal to right nodes left. This would be our condition which we have to move in forward with the recursion. Let's see the code. It's pretty easy, pretty base, pretty straightforward. Firstly, I had this base condition. As I showed you, if root is null, so I don't have to worry at all and I can just return a true. Now comes the part where I will just start the recursion. But here in the recursion itself, you will see. Firstly, we say, okay, if 
Now, see, the first condition, it states that if left nose is null and right node is null, which means that, okay, I have reached the leaf node, left is null, right is null, okay, cool. Both are null, both are same, I am good. I can return a true. But, 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 if left is null or right is null, which means that it had not gone in above if condition, it is in below if condition, which means if left is null, for sure, the right would not have been null because if right would not would have been null, so it would have gone in the first condition itself. So it's not null, which means left and right are not same. Cool. If right is null, which means that left would not have been null. So both are not same. Or if the values are itself not same, I have to return a false. And it was the condition which we saw in step two that okay, we need to compare these two nodes and see okay, what's the main condition we have. Now, if we have checked, okay. If they are equal or not, not equal, then I will just return a false. If equal, then I can just go down further in my tree. And that, and here comes the part, as I showed in step three, that left nodes left and right nodes right, I need to compare. And also I need to compare left nodes right with right nodes left. That was the condition I showed in step three, which is actually, actually my recursive condition. And here it will just return me, okay, it will just go on, go on, go on further, further, further down. And if everything goes well, then the last thing will return us a true, which means this condition because both have reached to the leaf nodes. Okay, cool. Then it's checked left, left node, it's null, right node, it's null. So basically, I have reached to leaf node, which means everything has went well above the tree and I'm good. It was the recursive question, like recursive part of the problem. It was pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Let's see about the iterative part. So when we think of the exact same thing in the iterative way, it means that what I was doing on the recursive way was I was iterating on these levels and saying, okay, if every levels left, right, left, right, it, it, it was matching or not. Basic idea was to iterate on the levels. Let's do the same thing on the iterative part. It on the levels. When we iterate on the levels in a tree, the thing which comes in our mind is a BFS. Cool. Let's do a BFS. For BFS, we need a queue. See how we thought. Okay, what we did, what we had to do, we had to iterate on levels. For levels, we use BFS. BFS requires a queue. Let's use a queue. We can use it by stack also because it's a recursion, right? Recursion internally uses stack. So we can implement the same thing which recursion is doing in stack also. But how iteratively we can think is my BFS. Both are cool, both are open, but it's just a more iterative way to think. First base condition, because see, in iterative also you think, okay, here I will just have base condition, here I will just start my loop, here the loop will itself move on going and doing the recursive operation. Base condition same as above, if root is null, I will just re like return a null. Now, I have this left node, I have this right node. I'll just push both these nodes in my queue because my root is gone. Now I have this left, I have this right. Let's push it in the queue. What will happen now? Let's see. When it's, it's actually on this queue, it will see, okay. It will just pop it back from the queue. Okay. My two will come, which is the left node. Actually, my two route right will come, which is actually the right node. I will see, okay, both are same. Yeah, both are same, which means that, okay. My roots here would have been same. Now it is same condition is satisfied. I am good to push their childs. How to push their childs is also a good thing. How? Because see, as you saw, I am comparing to consecutive elements. So I have to make sure that I push my left nodes left and my right nodes right consecutively. And after that left nodes right and right nodes left consecutively, which means that I'll push my left nodes left, right nodes right, and then my left nodes, my left nodes right, and my right nodes left. Thus, I will see in the next iteration, I will see, okay, if both are same, three and three, green three and green three are same, cool, same. Then I'll push their childs by the same format. And if these four and four are same, which means that, okay, four red, four and uh, like four red, are same. Cool. I can just push it their child in the same manner. And thus we are doing the same thing in this that firstly it's the base condition if root is null or not. Cool. No worries. Then I'll just push in the child which means which I showed in step two because I have to push the roots left and the roots right. When it's done 
I'll just start iterating on my queue itself. And firstly, I will grab the two nodes which I pushed in at the last because these two I'm gonna compare with each other. And the same, same, same condition, exactly the same condition which we showed above in the recursive part to check, okay, if it is equal or not, if I should go back, if it is not. See, if it is not equal, then I'm re like returning false straight from here. But if it, it is not, then I'm trying to go up till deep down, deep down, deep down until I reach the leaf nodes or the end. And after that, I have to put in the same manner, which means roots left, left nodes left, then right nodes right, and after that, left nodes right and right nodes left. And ultimately, if it had reached and it had not returned false here, which means that, okay, everything has been going well, I can return it true from here. So I hope that you guys understood the every part of this problem and enjoyed it. If yes, then do hit the like button. It helps me motivate a lot. And yeah, see you guys next video. Till then, goodbye. Take care.